Well, hello, Stampers. It's the Pampered Stamper coming to you from Sclavazon to the Netherlands. My name is Jackie van der Sarboot, and I'm married to a delightful Dutchman named Gerard. That means that I am temporarily living in the Netherlands and flying home often to Canada. And I get to be a demonstrator in both markets. So that's super exciting, and I hope you take advantage of that. Anyway, today is Cheer Corner, and Cheer Corner is when I share a card and you get to nominate someone to receive that card because I believe in the power of happy mail. I really believe that together we can change the world one card at a time. So I hope you stick with me today. I'm playing around with the new in color. So let's take a look. Here we go. So we have Pebbled Path, Copper Clay, Wild Wheat, Moody Mauve, and Boho Blue. I love them all. I love them in their full strength and I love them when you stamp them off. So take a look. Um, the full strength is on the left, it's the darker color, and then the light is when you stamp it off. Stamp again without re-inking. And it gives you a better idea of the range of colors that you can get with your new in colors. And then on the left you'll see the ribbon and a die cut with the cardstock. The ribbon is gorgeous. And I'm going to be doing an in color club and I hope you join me for it. However, that's not what today is about. I just want to show you the in colors and my finally my in color paper showed up. So you get this. If you join the club, you will get all of this in color paper. So here we have it in Wild Wheat and then we have it in Pebbled Path. Oh, I'm missing one here. Oh, it's there. It's there. You know how one paper just feels thicker and you know there's more than one. And then we have Moody Mauve. The more I say these colors, the more they're going to stick in my brain. Then we have Copper Clay. And then the last one is Boho Blue. And so you'll get this. You'll get four sheets of each color cardstock, and you'll get a yard of ribbon in each color. And I call that um, touch and feel. You know, it gives you an idea of whether or not you want to continue. And then the next phase of the In Color Club is called All, um, All In. And then you get the five ink pads and you get the five re-inkers. And then the last part of the In Color Club is when you get all the blends and it's called Let's Get Coloring. And if you do all three, then you get the, the markers for free. So we're going to use these colors today for my Cheer Corner card. And I'm using the Cheerful Daisy set, which is this. And I'm also using these stamp and, and, and cut and emboss folders. And they are basics. And you're probably thinking, where can I find these? They come in a set of three and they're only available online. I will share the link. We're using this one today. It's kind of a cross hatch pattern. These are called basics because they really are. Then there's a big, whoops. Oh, I think my my thing, oh, there it goes. My, my, my camera just timed out there. A polka dot. And then there's this pretty floral. Okay, so what I did was I took this pattern paper, this one, and I ran it through the crosshatch, and I'll show you what I got. I got this, and it measure, measures four inches by four inches, and then I cut a, well, maybe it's four and an eighth. I better double check. I don't want to lie to you. So I ran that through the embossing folder, and it really looks cool. Yeah, it's four inches, four inches square. So you could do a square card either um, in centimeters. This is 10 centimeters square, and then this is 10.5 centimeters square. You could also do four inches by four inches, and then this would be four and a quarter by four and a quarter. And this is Moody Mauve. So what I wanted to do, I sh if you guys have been sticking with me, the last video that I did, I showed the, um, the daisy paper. And there was this one, and I wanted to use that together with this one here. So now I've come up with a card, and I had stamped the daisies in different colors, so I saved this one. And then there was some other little thing. Oh, yes, I stamped with this tiny little thing. I am here for you, and I want to show you where that came from. This is also a new set called Countryside Corners, and if I opened up, there it is. These are all the dies. And you know what I realized? This is one stamp. I thought there was a whole bunch of stamps. This is one background stamp. But I digress, and then you can cut all the different layers. But that's for another day. But I did use that adorable little, little die there. So let's make this card together. 
the key is that it's amazing what you can do with a simple design. And this is the piece of paper that started it all. Okay. We're going to use liquid adhesive. And I like it because it lets me, this was the other side of that paper, but I, I didn't like those colors. So that's okay. That's why paper has two sides. You can pick the one you like the most. So remember, while I'm making this card, you need to be thinking about who to send it to. And I was supposed to take a picture of this ahead of time because people like to create with me and make a card themselves. Here. There. And now I'm just going to lay this on here to decide whereabouts I want it. That's going to be popped up. This is going to be like so. And I want to tie a piece of ribbon around. Okay. And then we're going to put an inside on. It's all good. Oops, I'm making a mess. When you spill your um, glue, you can just rub it and it will just dry up and roll up like this. And then it just, it takes the ink off your fingers too. That's a very handy trick. Okay, so here we go. It's kind of a weird day today. In the Netherlands, yesterday, Thursday, was called Koningsdag, King's Day. And we celebrate, the whole country has a day off and we celebrate the King's birthday. And then it's really weird then to work again on Friday because it felt like a weekend but that's okay I was happy to get to work because I wanted to show you this card and this is not going to be live usually my Monday videos are live but I'm going to visit my aunt who has dementia um, and I'm gonna go with another aunt together and a cousin and we're gonna go visit her and if you've seen it I shared a video of her the last time I went to visit and she reminds me so much of my mom. She looks a lot like my mom. And she loves to sing. And she loves birds. And it was just so beautiful. And she had no idea who I was. But she kept giving me hugs and telling me how beautiful I was. And it was just, it was such a precious visit. So I'm actually super looking forward to seeing her again. Um, when I went to visit her the first time, I had no idea what to expect. And I was nervous. Okay, before we put the ribbon on, I'm just going to take a piece of white and put it in the inside. So this is four inches by four inches. And now normally I would stamp it before I put it in the inside, but I have another plan because when I was playing with this daisy set, I had stamped them in all the in colors and I did a bunch of die cutting. And that's what I encourage in stamping through my stash, to stamp everything, to die cut everything, and then you get a feel. So I had all of these little die cuts already done. So I'm going to put that inside. I've got something stuck to the back of it. We'll just ignore that. I'm not sure if it's a piece of dried up glue or a crumb from something I ate. But it's going to be covered up now for all of posterity there. Maybe your person is going to get this crumb infested card. Okay, so now I want to just finish it off. It looks perfectly fine like that. But look at, here's that ribbon. And it's almost like a metallic in there. It just brings out the beauty of the card. So we're just going to tie it in a knot. And I think I might add another little piece of pebbled path to pick out the color that's in the inside of these daisies. I think, and I'll show you the cards that I've already made with the other in colors. So I'm making a series. It's kind of fun. I like series. I like series in books and I like series in cards. So now I like to take my ribbon scissors and cut the ribbon on the diagonal. Then it doesn't fray and it looks pretty. So, and see how on this side it's fraying? I don't know if you can see that. My camera's having a hard time focusing. See, it's fraying. You don't want that. It doesn't look pretty. So I used to sew and that was a thing my mom told me to always cut on the diagonal there. So I'm going to move that over just a little bit. And then we're going to bring in the pebbled path and do another little tie. I think that'll look really pretty, don't you? So here I have my pebbled path. And that's the color that's in the inside of those daisies. And I'm just going to thread it underneath here. Pick it up and tie it in a knot. Keep all your pieces flat and then it'll go well. And then I just don't want to waste too much. I'm still wasting more than I'd like. You know, when you're brought up by Depression-era parents who also went through the war, 
every little bit that you waste it just it's just in my system so I have to just not stress about it I do my best there and really it's just such a tiny piece like this really I didn't have to stress about that and then if you want you can slide it up a little bit more if you want it to be a little closer come on there I wanted them to be nice and tight together like so there how pretty is that it now it just steps it up a notch that it's just an adorable card I am here for you now wouldn't you like to get that in the mail I know I would I want to show you where that little saying came from it came from this stamp set here threw it together praying for blankets of healing around you and yours follow your dreams you're doing better than you think this is a fantastic stamp set and I'm loving those little labels this is actually um yeah it's really cute I'm using it on a card again tomorrow so make sure you join me for stories and stamps on Tuesday all my videos are on YouTube at 10 a.m. Eastern Standard Time in Ontario which is 4 p.m. European Central Time so I'm really try to be super consistent so that you can always follow me on those times and I hope you join me I hope you subscribe to my channel follow my page check out my blog you know what it's just wonderful I'm so thankful for you I'm so grateful for you and um because this stamping community means everything to me and I've been doing this now for 17 years and I have people all over the world and it just it's wonderful it's wonderful and through the good times and the bad and when with my dad dying and my mom just appreciates it so much and that is just such a gift where she says you know what you do really important work she said and she says say hi to all your ladies so my mom says hello and I know it's not just ladies there are men who make cards too and I love them it's just great I just think that everyone needs to be creative and everybody feels better when they make things and you can too because I am you know I would have considered myself the least creative of people that's why I fell in love with Stampin' Up to um, because their color coordination makes it easy and their beautiful artwork makes it easy to make nice things so get on board and join me I would love to teach you how to make cards as well so just watch my videos I usually only do easy stuff so, yeah, nominate someone for Cheer Corner. Together we can change the world one card at a time. And I'll see you tomorrow with stories and stamps. Bye.